Hey, this is Presh Tollwalker. Here's a nice riddle I saw online. Every day, now Ryan Murthy goes from his home to his college. One day, he wakes up late and realizes he needs to go very quickly to his college. So he goes at an average speed of 20 kilometers per hour to the college. But alas, he still ends up late by exactly 10 minutes. The next day, he vows that he's going to wake up on time, but alas, he wakes up late again and says he needs to go even faster. So he makes an average speed of 25 kilometers per hour to get to the college, but he still ends up four minutes late. The question is, based on this information, what is the distance from his home to his college? Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try. And when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. So how can we solve this question? We will use the famous formula, distance is equal to rate times time. If we take the first letter of each word, we can abbreviate the formula into D is equal to R times T. So the only thing we have to be careful about is the units. So let's say we measure the distance in kilometers. We are given a speed in kilometers per hour. So we have to make the time in a compatible unit. So we need to make the time measurement in terms of hours. So let's measure the time in terms of hours. So let's say the distance is an unknown constant D. If he travels at a rate of R, he will end up to the college exactly on time. And this will be T hours. We are given that if he goes at 20 kilometers per hour, he ends up 10 minutes late. So it will be the same distance D from his home to the college. The rate will be equal to 20. Now we are given the time as 10 minutes late. So we need to convert that into hours. As there are 60 minutes per hour, 10 minutes will be equal to 1 sixth of an hour. Since he ends up late, we need to add this amount of time. So the amount of time it will take him in hours will be t plus 1 over 6. We are also given that if he goes at 25 kilometers per hour, he ends up 4 minutes late. So it will still be the same distance d from his home to his college. His rates will be 25. We now need to convert 4 minutes into hours, and this will be 4 multiplied by 1 over 60, which simplifies to be 1 over 15th of an hour. Since he ends up late, this will be an additional amount. So the time taken will be t plus 1 over 15. Now we have the formula that distance is equal to rate multiplied by time. So that applies to every single one of these rows. In particular, let's look at this row and we have the equation d is equal to 20 multiplied by the quantity t plus 1 over 6. In the final row, we get the equation that d is equal to 25 multiplied by the quantity t plus 1 over 15. We have two equations and two variables, so let's just focus on these two equations. So let's work through these equations. For a first step, let's distribute the coefficients. In the first equation, we have d is equal to 20t plus 20 over 6, and in the second equation, we have d is equal to 25t plus 25 over 15. There are many ways to solve these equations. You can eliminate the t variable and then solve directly for d. But in this case, since both equations are equal to d, I'll just set them equal to each other. So we have 20t plus 20 over 6 is equal to 25t plus 25 over 15. Let's simplify the fractions. 20 over 6, we can take a factor of 2 from the numerator and denominator, leaving 10 over 3. And in 25 over 15, we can take a factor of 5 from the numerator and denominator, so this will leave 5 over 3. So we have 20t plus 10 over 3 is equal to 25t plus 5 over 3. Subtract 5 over 3 from both sides and subtract 20t from both sides to give that 5 over 3 is equal to 5t. Divide both sides by 5 to give that t is equal to 1 over 3. Substitute that into the first or the second equation in this case, I'll substitute it into the first equation. And then 1 over 3 plus 1 over 6 is equal to 1 half. 
So 1 half of 20 then gives us the answer that D is equal to 10 kilometers. And that's the answer. I think this algebraic technique is the most efficient and simplest way to solve this question. So I think all students should learn it. However, some students like to understand the problem in a visual way. So let me just present a graphical approach to this question. Let's make a horizontal axis, which is equal to the time. And then we will make a vertical axis, which is equal to the distance traveled. Now every day, it will be the same distance D between the home and the college. Let's say that T is the amount of time to be on time to the college. So let's just plot a horizontal line where we have this distance D and a vertical line for the on time amount of T. As we're assuming a constant rate of travel, we will have a straight line going from the origin to this intersection point. So let's just connect these two points. Now we are given that if he goes 20 kilometers per hour, he will end up 10 minutes late. Since he travels the same distance D from home to college every day, let's just extend this horizontal line. 10 minutes late corresponds to being late by one sixth of an hour. So this will be to the right of T and it will be at the point T plus one over six. So let's extend a vertical line right here and see where it intersects with this horizontal line. So this journey will correspond to a line between the origin and this intersection point. So let's just connect the points. He's traveling at a rate of 20 kilometers per hour. So that will be the slope of this line. Therefore, this line will have an equation D is equal to 20 T. Now let's look at the distance traveled. We know the time is T plus one over six. So we need to multiply that by 20. So the vertical distance will be 20 multiplied by T plus one over six. Now, if he travels at 25 kilometers per hour, he ends up four minutes late. Four minutes corresponds to T plus one over 15. So we draw a vertical line right here, and then he travels at 25 kilometers per hour. So we'll connect these two points, and this line will have an equation that D is equal to 25 multiplied by T. Substituting T plus one over 15, we can see the vertical distance D will be equal to 25 multiplied by the quantity t plus one over 15. Now, obviously these two vertical distances are the same. So these two quantities must be equal to each other. So we set up the same equation we had as before. 25 multiplied by the quantity t plus one over 15 is equal to 20 multiplied by the quantity t plus one over six. We solve this to get that t is equal to one over three hours, which means that D is going to be equal to 10 kilometers. So that's another way to solve this question in a graphical manner. I want to conclude the video by showing how you can solve this problem in Excel. It won't be the best method and there are other numerical methods you could use, but spreadsheets are widely available and sometimes it helps just to see the calculations. So how is it possible to solve this in a spreadsheet? We have the information that if he travels at 20 kilometers per hour, he ends up 10 minutes late. And if he travels at 25 kilometers per hour, he ends up four minutes late. So let's set up some cells. Let's say that one cell is equal to the distance. We don't know that we need to compute it. We have the rate he's traveling and we have the time based on the distance and the rate. So let's just say we have a distance of one. And then in one case, we know the rate is equal to 20 kilometers per hour. So we can calculate the time it will be equal to the distance divided by the rate. Now, of course, as we change the distance, we automatically will get an updated calculation on the time. Now, when he travels in the other case, we will also have the same distance. So let's just set this cell to be equal to the same distance. We have a rate of 25 kilometers per hour, and we're going to head and use the same formula for the time, which will be equal to the distance divided by the rate. So how can we figure out this problem? Well, let's first convert the minutes into hours. So 10 minutes late will be equal to 10 divided by 60, which equals one sixth of an hour. And then four minutes will be equal to four divided by 60, which is equal to one fifteenth of an hour. So we can set a difference between the two situations. So what is the difference in time? 
it will be equal to 1 over 6 of an hour minus 1 over 15 of an hour, which is equal to 0.1. Now, for any distance we put here, we're also going to get some calculated times, and we want this difference to exactly match. So let's say we have a difference of times here, where we have the time in the first case minus the time in the second case, and it doesn't match. We have 0.01 here, and that's not the same as 0.1 that we need. So as we change the distance, we will get a different value for the difference. So we want to set up a way to change the distance so that we get the right difference. So we can do that with something that's called goal seek. So we are going to set the difference in time to be equal to the given information of 0.1. And we want to change the distance which distance will give us the appropriate difference. And we go ahead and calculate it, and voila, it gives us the correct answer that the distance has to be equal to 10 kilometers. So that's another way you could solve this question. What an interesting riddle. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems, one video at a time.